Welcome back, foodies, to A Mouthful. I'm your host, Dre, and we have an exciting show for you today. A little mystery, a little danger, great food as always, so stay tuned. Elizabeth on Bay Marketplace and Marina where we're headed to the first annual Lionfish Food Competition. Smokehouse is holding this awesome uh, event. Basically the organizers put this great event together to encourage people to fish lionfish. We Bahamians kind of think it's like uh, barracuda, it's poisonous, but this is a myth we're going to dispel today. So we're going to taste the fish, see how it's prepared, what's the best way to eat it. Um, so you guys come along with me. Now here's the thing, two to three years ago there was an invasion of lionfish in the western Atlantic Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. And being the invasive species that it is, they killed a lot of fish and coral reefs. But due to misinformation, there was a lot of fear surrounding the live fish in relation to humans. I'm super excited to try the various lionfish dishes out there today. I heard there's curry lionfish, some amazing lionfish with peas and grits, and even lionfish fried in bear batter. So we're here with Jenny and this is her brainchild, the Lionfish Tournament Competition. She's going to tell us a little about it. Is it a food competition? Are we just competing? No, it's, a, it's a fishing tournament. So we've got about seven boats entered in and they have to spear fish and we're giving prizes away for the most lionfish caught, okay. the biggest lionfish, and also second and third place for the most. Nice. And is this the first type of lionfish um, catching competition? No, this has been going on for a while, a lot in the Abacos. This is the first one that Out West Hospitality Group is holding, mm -hmm. and hopefully we'll do this every year. It's just a good way to get rid of the lionfish because they're destroying our reefs and killing all of our good fish like snapper and grouper. How did it taste? Like, can you tell me a little bit more about it? A lot of people have described it as a cross between a crawfish and a grouper. Um, it's a light and flaky fish. It's really good. So we brought a lot of the dishes here for the public to sample today. So the public is paying ten dollars, and we have a couple different dishes: ceviche, uh, sliders. Nice. Oh, so ceviche isn't that? Isn't it's that kind a of like scary? a salad, except for it's with the lionfish instead of the conch. And what's your favorite? I like the ceviche. Um, I like the tacos. Um, yeah, I got a couple of new ones to try today, so I'm looking forward to that. Nice. Well, thank you, Jenny. Thank you. So we're here with the first team in and they look like they got a good catch. I'm here with the main man, Mr. Grouper, and he's going to tell me about this lovely fish. It's a lionfish. It's what we're here to kill. Yeah? I heard it was poisonous. Is that no, true? it's venomous. Ven venomous. What's the difference? One you can eat, one you don't want to get stuck by. Okay, so what do I have to do to make sure I can eat this? Cut off the spines at the top and on the sides and on the bottom. The meat's very good to eat. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think it tastes like? Is it sweet? Is it like, is it meat? Tastes like fish. It tastes like fish. <laughs> okay, how about the water? Was it good? Was it a lot of fish out there? Weren't a lot of lionfish. There was a lot of fish, but not a, not a lot of lionfish. And how do you fish it? Is it like a rod? Is it a spear? With or? a spear. Okay, yes. cool. Well, thank you, Grouper. You're very welcome. Just finished talking to our fisherman grouper who showed us why it's called the lionfish. The spines on the top, on the sides, everything. Um, what we need to take off so we can eat it. Now we're going to talk to our chef who's going to teach us how to make uh, the delicacies of lionfish. The ceviche, the baked fish, everything. I think now it's time to eat. Because I'm such a foodie, I'm always eating great food. And I want to share them with you. So follow me on Instagram and Facebook for all the dishes that don't make it on the show. Follow me, I follow back. So we got everything they have to offer. We have the lemon caper, they have curried fish, uh, 
baked pit fish cakes, uh, fried fish, everything that you can think of. So I'm just going to dig in and try them all. So let's try the smoked fish because people don't really smoke fish around here. <laughs> let's get a piece of that. That's interesting. <laughs> it tastes kind of like barbecue as it's supposed to. And let's do the curry. Has anybody ever tried to curry their fish? The fish tastes kind of um, very similar to grouper, fresh, and surprisingly clean. Let's try the lemon and paper. Oh, that's definitely my favorite. The citrus, obviously, best pair with fish. Um, and I don't really like capers that much, but this one is really the fish and well, the lionfish and the capers are pretty good. And the crab cake. The chef told me to eat the crab cake. I mean, the fish cake <laughs> without um, yeah, without the sauce first. So we'll try the fish cake without the sauce and then with the sauce. That's good. It tastes like they battered it with cornmeal as opposed to flour. Has a nice crunch to it. And it's kind of like softy. It's like soft inside. Like kind of mushy, but a good mushy. <laughs> and last, broil. And we kind of used to broiling fish with tomatoes and onions and pepper. It's really good. I, I think everybody should try this fish. You should definitely not be afraid to try it because it tastes very similar to grouper, surprisingly. It's um delicious. Actually, it was really, really good. I, I was a little hesitant because I said, oh my god, I hope it's not like the tilapia. Because, you know, it just looked, the fish looked a little, you know. Flaky. Yeah, not flaky. It just it just had that smooth, textury look. Right. More like the tilapia look. But when I tried it, it's really good because it seemed like it absorbs the seasoning. What's your favorite so far on that yeah. plate? On this plate, I've only tried the curry one yet which is nice. So far, I think actually the uh, fish cake is my favorite. Yeah, I really like the fish cake too. Yeah, I've never tasted a potato fish cake. Yeah, I thought the same thing. So I thought that was a really nice plan. So what do you think? To lionfish or not? Hit us up on Facebook with your thoughts and even throw out some recipes. We'd love to try them. and he's gonna tell us about all the dishes I just explained to you that we love. And we have fish and grits here, and I see some type of battered fish. Can you tell me a little about it? Yeah, but okay, uh, this fish here, I have two types of fish here. I have the uh, Cajun style breaded fish, okay. and I have an uh, English style bear battered fish. Nice, what type of bear? Collect? Collect, of course. Of course, keep of it behaving. Course. Is there anything special you did with the fish and grits? Uh, yeah, I guess. Put a little love in it. I heard you put your foot in that. It was so good. It's actually my favorite meal. Yeah, so, so I can actually go home, buy this, or catch it, and cook this myself. Yes, you can. Yes. Okay. So any, any, any way you like to cook it, you can, cook it. You can boil it, you can bake it, mm -hmm. you can steam it, you can fry it. Whatever, whatever your preference is, as far as fish is, yeah. you, can, you can actually do it in the line. And I think the verdict is we love lionfish. It's great, it's flaky, it's fresh, it's clean. Um, so basically, the myth has been dispelled. You can eat lionfish. You can cook it at home, you can make peas and grits, which by the way, is my favorite dish here. So as you can see, we're not lying about lionfish. You had a mouthful with Dre and all the great eats. See you soon. <laughs>